Hey, YouTube. I'm back. Excuse me, y'all. Finna get ready to go to bed. But before I do, I wanted to do put my predictions in for a string rules pay-per-view pay joining uh, pay-per-view for Raw and SmackDown. So without further ado, let's get started. So, um... I'm not uh, I'm not a betting person, but I always give a percentage. So I'm not putting my bets. I'm giving my percentage of who will win. And usually when I do these, I end up coming out being right at the end. So y'all take notes because this video is going to be interesting. So let's get started. So so, this is the Extreme Rules Predictions. So, we got Raw is War, Raw is War Tag Team, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt versus the B Team of Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. So, this is what I have. I have, I have Matt Hardy and Wade Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, excuse me, Bray Wyatt with 50%. The reason is, I think that with 50%, they will we, will contain their title. I don't think they will lose to, uh, to the likes of Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. I mean, you got the next tag team in line to go for those titles is will be the um revival. So you want to put re the revival uh, against the have them go against the best tag team. So at the moment, it's Matt Hardy and Way White, um, Bray Wyatt. So like I said, fifty percent for Bray, uh, for Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt of containing, and only 40 percent of the B team, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas of winning. All right, we're gonna um, go around. So we're gonna go to SmackDown's tag team. Now this is going to be a interesting tag team match. This is the Bludgeon Brothers versus Team Hell No of Kane and Daniel Bryan. And I have a 50-50. 50-50 chance that the Bludgeon Brothers will contain. And 50% chance that Kane and Daniel Bryan, Team Hell No, will win it. So, that's what I got. So, I got a couple of that. Alright. Now. I want to come back to the women because I want to talk about them at the end of, the, of this video. So, stay tuned. So, just announced tonight on SmackDown for the last few weeks, Kevin Owens, um, Brock Strowman been going out to Kevin Owens. <laughs> so, I've been loving it. Like, I don't know what. I love it. So, it'll be Braun Strowman versus Kevin Owens in a steel cage match. So, here we go. I have Kevin Owens with no more than, like, um 30% of winning. Because <laughs> he has never done too good in Hell in the Cell matches just, preview, um, just from watching him. Okay. So, Braun Strowman has the 50%. So, that's a 50%. Um, 30% chance. So, 50% chance Braun Strowman is going to win. Come on, he is one of the biggest guys in the, in the room. Okay. Okay, so then you got, oh my God, AJ Styles versus Rusev. Uh, did Rusev earn an opportunity to go for this title? Because I don't remember him getting a number one contenders match for this match. They just giving it to him. It's, it's, it looks like to me over there on SmackDown, Paige is just handing, like I said, handing out, just handing out title opportunities. So, is it because she's close with Lana? She's getting, uh, Rusev is getting this opportunity? Hmm. Um, my thing is, it's a 50-50 chance. Okay, the reason I'm putting the 50-50 chance for both is a 50-50 chance AJ Styles will contain this um title belt. And it's a 50 chance Rusev will win this title belt. Now, it's suspicious how he got this opportunity because I'm, I'm asking y'all, was it ever a number one contender opportunity that Rusev won? Question mark. Comment below, y'all. So, yeah. 
Okay. So then you got Jeff Hardy versus Sisuke Nakamura for the U uh, for the U U USA title belt. Now this is also a 50-50 chance. It's a 50-50 chance that Jeff Hardy will contain, and it's a 50-50 chance Sisuke Nakamura will win. If Sisuke Nakamura don't pull the crap that he's been pulling on AJ Styles. I'm just saying. Okay. <sighs> All right. Dolph Ziggler, um, he does make a good champion, but sometimes it's just he's not is I feel like he is at the moment it's not in the cards for him to be a champion at the moment. I'm sorry. So I put Dolph Ziggler of 40% of containing that title belt. And I put Seth Rollins of winning that title belt. Let me make sure. Okay. And then we got Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lesnar. Now, this is a 50-50 cross the board. 50-50% that Roman Reigns will win. And 50% if Bobby Lesnar. These guys are evenly matched. So, I don't get why Vince is booking this match. This is an unnecessary match. Even though um, they acting like they don't like each other. You know, it's, you know sometimes these uh, feuds are scripted. But you got to figure, I have to figure out, Braun, well, Roman Reigns does make make a key point. What happened 10 years ago with Bobby Lesley? We, will never, we won't ever know what happened and why he left 10 years ago. But he's back and he's trying to make a new path for himself. Now, um, do I believe, who do I want to win? I really want Roman Reigns to win because Roman Reigns do my... A, a lot of things could happen to him and stuff like that, but you have to give it to Roman Reigns. When it comes down to it, if he um talk the talk, he will bag it up when he wrestles. So I'm I'm all for whoever wins, but I'm leaning much more towards um I'm leaning towards um I'm leaning towards hold on y'all I'm leaning towards Roman Reigns to win this. I'm sorry. Yeah. Even though I like Bobby Leslie, I am leaning much more towards Roman Reigns to win. All right. So now we're going to talk about the two women matches. Two women matches. So let's start with SmackDown women's match. You got Carmella versus Asuka this Sunday in Extreme Rules. Now. This is what I got to say. I know if James Ellsworth get hurt tomorrow night, he won't make it. Let me be clear. He won't make it. Let's be clear about this. He ain't going to make it to this match. I guarantee you. So, I have Oscar with 50% that she will become women's champ uh, my damn women's champion. And then, I have 40% that... None other. Carbella might contain. 40% she might contain. Just 40%. Now, the match I'm looking forward to is Nia Jax versus Alex Bliss. I hope Mickey James will be banned from this match. But we got one, one denominator who has a ticket. As y'all know, Marla Rousey is um off of, off of her 30-day suspension but get this y'all but she will be front row ticket in hand front row so don't say she is not going to grab mickey james and make sure it be a fair match there go a good distraction for alex bliss Naya might get re get that title belt back thanks to ronda rousey okay Thanks to Ronda Rousey. Okay. Thanks to Ronda Rousey. Okay. But, yeah. That is all of the matches I wanted to talk about. But, I want to talk about one other thing for this match. Um, I'm going to tell y'all. I don't. Now, as y'all see, Brock Lesnar is not part of this match. So, is it. Okay. 
Brock Lesnar is not, is not part of this match. You got to remember, Braun Strowman has that money in the bank briefcase. To get me to say this. So, started on July 3rd. This this involves WWE. But I needed to put it in here. Is because y'all know Brock Lesnar is usually featured at a pay-per-view. So, this time he's not featured at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Okay. On July 3rd. Brock Lesnar announced he's re-entering UFC. He is now in the process of of a physical to make sure he's physically fit to compete. So, me, that gives me to say is why does Vince McMahon just go on since he wants to go on and Russ um go and do a match at UFC? You can say UFC, MMA. I think I can. Um, I um, I think it's UFC. Yeah, UFC and stuff. But why does Vince McMahon just go on now and just strip him of the title? Why do he don't do that? It's more appropriate. I mean, if it was somebody else, somebody else in the WWE, he would straightly strip them of that title. So the question I have. Three questions of the day. So, let's get ready. So, we got the first question is with the Seth Rollins versus Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental title belt. Do any, and the question of the day is, do y'all think Dean Ambrose or Jason Jordan might have um, none other Seth Rollins back to handle? To handle Drew McIntosh? Hmm, that's a good one. So, our second one is... When it comes to Carmella versus Oscar, who you want to win? Team Carmella or Oscar? That is the question. And our third question is... Actually... It's not going to be doing with none of the extreme rules. Do you think Vince McMahon should strip, should strip none other, Brock Lesnar, strip the Universal Championship title from Brock Lesnar since he wants to go in, go in, do a match in UFC? All right, y'all. It's Alicia Burton. So let's get. Tell me what you think of these predictions, and do you agree with me with my questions? Don't forget to comment below. Comment below, thumbs up this video, and subscribe.